that's my buzzing. Today we're kind of in a new setup. You guys can't tell. Uh, it really is, we're just not sitting at my desk. We're sitting on my bed. So, kind of want to try this out, see what it's like. I also got a new tripod. Move my lights. I was trying out a new camera. But, I did film this video already. And it's now halfway through the day. And while I was doing the editing, I found out the entire video was not focused. Because I was too busy focusing on the background. Rather than on me. So, we're just going to switch back to this camera. Which doesn't have a microphone. And I can't put a microphone in it. So, but, I'd rather have it in focus. And I'll just keep playing around with the other camera to see if I can't figure it out. See if I can't get better. And we'll go from there. But, let me know what you guys think of the new background. And I might just end up using that new camera for vlogging. And maybe do some vlogs on here. Um, so yeah, we're doing a full face using ColourPop products only. I have everything in this bin right here. So you guys can kind of see. The brushes are not ColourPop. Really because I don't have that many ColourPop brushes. I only have one. And it's for my eyebrows. But everything else is ColourPop. Um, so we're going to start off with the ColourPop all Star Matte and Blur Primer. Just gonna set it on the back of my hand. And I'm just gonna use this guy as my mirror. That's one more thing. I'm not used to using these types of things for mirrors. So if things are covering my face, I apologize. I need to get used to a new setup and stuff and part of that is I don't have a mirror that I can sit directly in front of me so Excuse me. if I ever look that direction that is because where that is where my monitor is and I'm just checking that we're recording and we're unfocused because as much as I love um, filming I don't want to have to film a video four times so I'm going to do a different look than I did earlier today, really because I feel like I already filmed that video and to get, my, get myself interested in what I'm doing, I need to switch it up. Okay, so while that is getting set in, I'm going to take some ColourPop Lip Balm in Blingy BB. Purely just so my lips kind of, they had like my lipstick on them earlier, I put them on again so I don't want my lips to kind of too dried out. So that kind of helps with that. And if you can tell, my hair's red again, which hasn't been in ages, but I missed it a lot. And red just is me, so it's back. Um, so these products I've used before on this channel, some of them I have not, but it's all going to be color pop because now I have mascara. So it's rooting. I kind of look at the liquid eyeliner, but I don't have that yet. So. We're not doing eyeliner today, like on the top. Um, but I'm going to use the No Filter Stick Foundation in Fair 27N. And I have been using this almost every single day for work because it's just super easy to apply. However, I have yet to have it last more than five hours about the five hour mark I think it starts to look a little bit cakey and it starts to break down and if I'm going through the day that is around slightly after lunch so it doesn't last a full day on me but it's just so easy to apply and I in that aspect I like it so I keep wearing it even though it's I don't think it has the best wear time, nor looks the best on me. Which is odd, because normally I'm like, if it doesn't look good on me, I just give it to my sister or something. This one I'm holding on to for, like, no real good reason. Other than that, it's just really easy to apply with this brush. That is applied. Um, next, we're going to go in with concealer. I'm going to use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, which I have made my opinion very clear on in the past. I do not like this as a concealer. I like it as an eyeshadow base and to cut the crease. But because it is a ColourPop 
only video I will use it as my concealer today. This is the shade Fair O2. And then I forgot to grab my sponge, so I'm just going to use this guy right here. I need to do under my lash line. I forgot that. So, I'm going to grab a little bit more. And you can see, oh, I see. I still have some makeup on from earlier. I didn't get all of it off. Before I went into filming this. And I just realized that the mascara is going everywhere. So that's lovely. I'm not going to fault the mascara for that. That's purely because I'm putting on makeup on top of makeup, so. My eyes look a little weird, but it's alright. Alright, we're going to go in to the bronzer. So for bronzer, I'm using one of their individual pressed powder face products. In particular, this is the bronzer called CA Dreaming or California Dreaming, which looks like that. I'm just going to use this as bronzer and as my contour. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm going to go in with my blush. And this is To The Ten, which is probably my favorite blushes at the moment. Or I should say one of, because Why Hello also from Colourpop is also a really good one. Alright, next for highlighter, I'm going to be going in with... Flexitarian, which is one of their super shock cheek pearlized, which is just their highlighters, <laughs> which I really like. I'm going to take those out on my finger and use that to apply it. And then I still have some leftover highlight from earlier on my brush. So I'm just going to take what I have left over on here from the video from earlier today, I should say. And just kind of set that in place. And that is actually from one of their highlighting trio palettes called, um, Why Don't We? I think. I'll put the name of it on the screen. That's just what I'm using to set this, basically. Look at that highlight. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Okay. Now, I'm going to touch up my brows. So I'm using the brow color in Cool Cocoa. And their Boss Brow Gel in Light Brown. I used dark brown earlier today as the gel, but we're just going to switch it up for now. And I'm just going to fill in any gaps that I have with the pomade. No, since you can't see before, this is what it looks like. Okay. I did the whole thing earlier. Which is why I only need to touch up now. But I normally, this is what I've been using the last few weeks. I really like it. Okay, so there is the brows touched up, redone, everything. I am going to zoom you guys in and we will do the eyeshadow. Alright, you guys are zoomed in. As close as I can zoom in the new setup. I think we're in focus. That's why I'm looking right there right now. Um, I'm using the ColourPop through my eyes uh, with all Sarah He. I think this way I pronounce her name. This is what the palette looks like. 
I did a look earlier today using Misbehave, Nostalgia, and Emerald Dream. Um, instead, I'm going to switch it up just because I don't want to do the same look twice, even though you guys don't get to see that look. Because <laughs> my camera wasn't recording it, but I don't feel like filming two, the same video twice, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to kind of walk through what I did before and then do something completely different. Um, so I'm going to start off with similar to how I did that look before, which was using sandalwood. As kind of just my overall base for everything. It's just a good, like, setting powder. It's kind of close to my um, skin tone, but just slightly more pigment. So just like that. Next, I'm going to go in with Wild Soul. So this is where I did um, Nostalgia before. We going to do a very similar look, just different colors. I'm just going to kind of build up the crease area with that. It kind of makes it a little bit orange and peachy. We lay the two on top of each other. Which works out perfectly for what we are doing with this look today. Alright. Next, I'm going to use the same brush and then go into Euphoric, which is this orange shade right here. Um, before, place the orange with Misbehave. I don't know why I'm walking through a look that you guys aren't seeing. I just feel like I, I should just mention kind of what I did earlier. You know, you guys aren't going to see it, but... I do very similar looks. All my looks at the root level of it are like the exact same look. The same like patterns, same everything. I just find it easiest to use it that way. We do the same thing over and over. I'm going to go back in with some Wild Soul. And I just bury, marry that line. Now I'm going to take a little bit more wild soul, and I'm just going to dust it out underneath the lower lash line here. There we go. Alright. Next, I'm going to take another fluffy brush. And I'm actually going to dip it into Misbehave. Because I really like that shade. I don't know why sometimes I'm showing you the palette upside down, and other times I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to keep that low in the crease. A pixie has joined me. If you can see her behind me. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to take kind of a dome brush like this and the shade Divina, which is this one right here. Kind of like a plummy tone. I'm just going to work that in the outer corner. Okay. Just like that. See now, previously I did green on my lid and then did some fun stuff with that. But to keep it very different, I'm going to take um, just because I want a different thing. We're going to do the Super Nova Shadow in Dragon as our base. I'm just going to cut the crease basically with this, this shadow. Okay, so that is now cut. Now, this is where I need setting spray and a flat brush. 
where I go into Mesmerize, which is this very gorgeous shade, but it falls apart so easily. Like, you guys can already see there's, like, that's an indent, I don't know if you can see, from just me dumping in once. So I'm just going to spray this brush with that. So we're going to tap that on top of Dragon. Which is almost an identical shade. And I love it for that. Because it just really helps this shadow just stay in place. It is so glittery. Like, it's gorgeous, but it just flakes everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna try zooming you guys in on this. I think you guys can see that. There is a very, very distinct dent. Yeah, there you go. You can kind of see it there. There's a dent in it. And that was just from me touching the pan once today. Actually, a few times. But, like, in its entire lifetime. So, like, I like it, but it just is so flaky. Versus if I go into this shade, which is Lucio, which I'm going to do next. Like, I get the cover, the brush coated, and you don't see that huge dent. I'm also going to take that shade that I just grabbed. Kind of work that on the inner corner here. Just like that. Now I need to kind of marry those two colors in. So I'm going to grab Misbehave here. On kind of Ingly brush. And kind of just work that into Dragon Me um, Mesmerize. Which kind of just helps marry that line between the two. Now I'm going to grab a little bit more Davina, same brush. Kind of just work it a little bit more in that outer corner. And then I'm going to take Misbehave and smoke out closer to the lash line. Alright. Next I'm going to take ColourPop. Cream gel liner in Swerve and place that in my lower lash line, waterline thing, this area. Alright, I'm going to go clean up the fallout. Alright, if you guys can see it, there is going to have fallout right about here, and here, and here, from Mesmerize. And then we'll be right back. Alright, cleaned up. I also applied some um, Color Pop All Star Face Setting Spray all over my face. Just kind of put it in place. Um, next, we're going to go in with the Color Pop BFF Volumizing Mascara in Black on Black. And this guy, it's very relatively new. That's why I kind of want to do a full face of Color Pop. It is an hourglass shape. And I'm just using mascara today because I don't have any false lashes. Unless somehow, magically, they have released those within the last day and I somehow completely missed it between yesterday and today when I ordered their liquid eyeliners. Let me know if you guys want a video on that. Like, of their... Uh, liquid liners because I did grab the kit. I'm going to do a blog post for sure on them, but I don't know if you guys want a video in particular on them. Let me know. I got them because as much as I love the NYX Epic Ink Liner, I wanted to try something different because mine's getting very frayed, so I thought I would try 
a new liquid, li liquid eyeliner. I don't know why I keep saying liquid lipstick. So I'd try something new. So that is why. Okay. Can you wait a few minutes? Uh -huh. Okay. Next, we're gonna go in with. Next, we're gonna go with a liquid lipstick, and this is an ultra matte lip from Kathleen Light and ColourPop um, from their Twinkling Lights edition, and this is the shade Little Star. And there we go. There is the finished look using only ColourPop. You can see Pixie's racing straight. <laughs> She's not saying else, I don't know. But yeah, let me guys know what you guys think of this full face using only ColourPop products. Those are everything that we use today. I'll have them all in the description down below if you guys want to. I can look through anything. Um, I'll have links to everything up on my blog because I'm going to put this as a blog post as well so that you can click through things if you guys want. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys all enjoy it. I hope you like the new setup. Let me know what you guys think of it. If you want me to keep um, filming here or move back to where we were filming before. I thought I would switch it up. But yeah, hope you guys all enjoy it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Hall Pack and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!